Hey everyone, we've had a lot of questions about how exactly to register for youth camp this year. We know we've made a switch along with the district to an online registration, so I kind of want to just give you some help and some tips and tools and kind of give you a demo of how this works. As you can see, I'm already at the ntym.org webpage and this was what you're looking at is just the home page of the North Texas Youth Ministries and so from here we actually want to go down and click on resources or events and that will take us directly to our camp page here as you can see it gives you a look at all the different camps we're going to and speakers things like that um, really the, the thing that matters most for you is clicking right here on July 30th through August 3rd that's going to be the key for you. Now, please understand, though you are registering online with the district, you need to make your payments to Bethel Temple, and in the middle line of a check, write your student's name. Please write your student's name. That would be greatly beneficial as we continue to make accounts for each student as we get registrations. But as you come to register, we are Camp 5. Please make sure you fill in your first name, last name, address, city, all these things with the red asterisks are very, very important. I know that seems kind of silly um, to even state, but we just want to make sure everything is very clear. If you add the camp DVD to your cost, please, please, please make sure you add that to what you pay us. So you're going to end up paying the 195 plus 15, and your total will end up being 210. So please make sure you note that camp DVDs are always nice for everyone to have. When you get to the part that says church, scroll down to where it says Cleburne and then select us. You'll see Cleburne, Bethel Temple. We're the first um, church in Cleburne listed. So please mark that as well. I'll go ahead and leave that marked for you guys so you can, you can see it. Um, if there's anyone your child should not be released to please select mark that and write that down they will check that also as far as leaving camp goes I would appreciate it if I knew before camp started and the kind of the date and all that stuff planned out that way we can make arrangements and I can let the camp coordinator know and everything like that and the next big thing we always have problems with this every year um, since we've been doing paper copies and not is the health history please make sure you put in your child's shot records we need that as much as possible um, and and the way we're gonna do this is if it will even let you submit it without having everything complete which I'm not sure it will but if it does and I get a letter back the district actually has a policy of two dollars for every fi uh, field that is not filled out correctly so if I get a report back saying this child is registered for camp but they're missing these items we will mark that send it to you and say hey you have a new camp balance of whatever how many fields you are so if you miss three fields times two that's six extra dollars you have to pay and camps already expensive enough so please make sure you take care of that so no one's out any extra money please be thorough in this uh, whether it's ac activities restricted allergies um, explain some of the allergies whether your camper can swim if they can swim at camp whether they wear contacts, glasses, or dental appliances, retainers, braces, things like that. Um, and this is another big one. Tylenol, Benadryl, Ibuprofen, over-the-counter drug, over drug consent. Without those, if anything is to happen, you know, they have a stomach ache, burns, cuts, insects, bites, rash, scrapes, as you can see, headaches. Without any of that marked, we cannot take them to the nurse to give them medication. Our leaders will not be giving over the drug drugs to your students that will, can get us in lots of trouble so please make sure you mark all that along with physician phone number name health care policy all that things emergency contacts as well please put those in um, you know read over the agreement make sure you sign it do not fill out anything for the monitor application none of your students will be camp monitors if you are curious about who our monitors will be please ask I will be glad to answer that for you and work over that uh, as much as possible. Then you would click save information. It's going to tell me I can't do it. But click can't save information and then continue. It will walk you through the following steps after that. Hey, I just want to say thank you so much. And look, it will tell you the reasons you fail. So there's no reason to charge you, you know, the extra money. But please, please, please make sure you get this in quickly. Soon, camp spots are limited, and I can't control how many spots we don't reserve spots for camp. So literally, it's first come, first serve, and then we'll go from there. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of your hard work. We love you guys. I'll talk to you soon.